So the story continues. Who needs catamarans or jet skis when you've got a ballistic squid? Kutaro had a new sense of purpose as he rocketed towards his enemy's stronghold, Crab Claw Cove. This hideout once belonged to Captain Gaff and his swarthy band of sea dogs. But just like his ship, it had been lost in the battle against the mighty Moby. The island's namesake, a claw-shaped rock at its peak, had just poked into view as Kutaro and Captain Gaff reunited for one last battle. And this time, the clincher was sure to be a pincher. Beloved hideaway, and how I missed her. Feast your deadlights on those smooth sands, those supple curves, those clammy crevasses. Look smart, me buckos! We're going in! Fine work, Kuzero! When it comes to impromptu boardings, I prefer a box of wedge. <laughs> All right, fishy, let's see you out swim the jolly lamb ham. Where are the long toms? Going to slip away, hey? Who's the depth charges? <laughs> if you want to sink that badly, Captain Gaff will gladly oblige. Release the charges! Zoinks! <laughs> Son of a biscuit eater! We're taking fire! Is Captain Airhead trying to blow us up too? Oh, get up, Katara! We're about to sleep with the fishes! Katara! I see you powered up, Calibrus, my sweet. Try cutting that! Don't get excited, dear. Time it right. Stop gnashing your scissors! Snip once and time it right! Stop! See how Calibrus change color? Make another cut straight after to fly farther and faster than before. It's all in the timing. Snip, snip. Got it? Then see if you can reach me over here. I knew you had potential, which is good, because this ship is going to sink. <laughs> You'd better find a way out. Meanwhile, I'll be catching some sun. Ta-ta! Meanwhile, the Jolly Lamb was still lambasting our hero mercilessly. A dead end! But I bet we could slice through that sticky stuff. The whole of the Moby's interior was lined with a spaghetti-like tangle of pipes.
Naturally, the submarine was yellow, as all self-respecting submarines should be. It was like a buttery yellow sunset, as the age of turmoil melted away to reveal a far-out, trippy era of peace, where your grandmother darned your socks and you could knock on your neighbor's door without carrying a pepper spray. What the heck are you talking about? Captain Gaff Salvos were doing quite a number on the Moby, outside and in. Does that number even care if we're in here? Moby had turned into a deadly inferno. The engine was ready to blow at any moment, and if that didn't get to work, the seawater flooding in certainly would. Rising. Begin manual ventilation. It's no use. We need to do it in the right order, or we're doomed. You were sinking, and now you be falling out of the sky. I marvel at your spontaneity. I'll marvel you, Tricorn Jerk. How could you wail on their ship like that when me and Kataro were still inside? <laughs> Watch my shit luck. <laughs> ah, this bodes ill, me hearties. Lady Luck has cheated, old cap gaff. Why? What's the problem now? Crab Claw Cove be a nigh impenetrable fortress. The outer cliffs repel even the tallest ship, whilst the castle walls above deter the most able climber. And let's not even speak of the twisted trail that leads to the peak or the countless cannons to thwart our progress. Aye, we'll have a hard time extracting those scallywags now. We basically have no way of going after them. Ah, ha, ha. I said no impenetrable, but Captain Gaff knows the ins and outs of his oldest mistress. <laughs> Observe. Now that's a big gun. I calls him Long Tom. He can reach so far up the island, she won't know what air. Now we're talking. Let's unload on that beach like there's no tomorrow. Kudaro, this be a two-man job. Kindly assume the position. Huh? Wait a second. You're not gonna... Fire! 
Kushara rocketed out of the cannon with a deafening roar and hurtled towards Crabclaw Cove at obscene speed. This is so not cool. Ah, Crabclaw Cove. The Crabs! Crabby Wabbies! The claw-shaped island was once home to a fearful band of A fearful band of Krabby Wabbies and... Oh, would you stop confusing me? A fearful band of pirates in the service of Captain Gaff. That was until Generals Pig and Sheep moved in. Kataro, Pecorina, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to steal back the Moonstone Shards from Agents Pig and Sheep. This message will self-destruct in... Oh! Hot! Hmm. Smooth. Harmed! No die! Check out this stump. Doesn't it look like an octopus? Banana peel. Can't pig and sheep pick up after they eat? <laughs> Little did she know the banana peels were a trap. Oh my gosh, do you think? Good thing you warned us. Grey pipes plastered all over Crabclaw Cove's inner sanctum made it look like it was designed by some sort of wacko steampunk marine biologist. Welcome to Hotel World Domination. I guess this is where Pig and Sheep go to club. How did those klutzes do it? They didn't. You see, the Moon Bear King had another general, one slightly more adroit when it came to matters of technological nature. But it was a rhetorical question. Heads up! Watch it! Whoa! Hey there, Spikey! Didn't you see your pals back on the pirate ship? Between the cannonballs, crumbling paths, heaps of swords, and falling powder kegs, the fortress of Crab Claw Cove had proven to be a tough wedge to take. Wasn't this Captain Gas' place? You'd think he'd have built an easier way in.
Run! Robo Crab are go! Do you copy? Enemy operatives have breached the CCC. Take Robocrab Mark 1 and eliminate them before it's too late. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Wait, since when are they the good guys? Sorry, I sort of nerd out around robots. Okay, can we get on with it? Crab Claw Cove was where the generals had stashed their most amazing secret weapon yet. Kutaro. Yes! Weak point exposed! You know what to do! Our weak point! Sinistro Mecha Parapods damaged! Activate balancers! Roger! Activating balancers! Hey! Whose side are you on? Kutaro, take out the legs on the other side! with your stance rectifiers. I can't! He's not a fiddler crab! Ventral hatch, she's snow crabbing! Hurt the legs! Hurt in the legs! Engage flight mode! Roger! Engaging Robo Crab flight mode! You don't play fair! Oh, that is so unfair! Fear not, Robo Crab. You can still stop him with a tractor beam. Roger! Activating tractor beam! <laughs> We've got you down! Oh no! They're beating you up! Oh no! She's gonna blow! Fire erupted from the primary engine. Danger, Will Cravenson! Danger! Stay on him! I don't care if we have to drag Pigeon Sheet out of the flaming wreckage! Someone was cutting through the thick plumes of smoke and closing in on Robo Crab fast. That's right, it was Kutaro slashing furiously with a mighty calibre. The van! They stay away! Now's my robot. chance to one up that squiffy and claim the reward from itself. <laughs> I'll tear ye limb from limb. <laughs> How did ye block that, ye swamp? <laughs> ah! Have a taste of me six powder! <laughs> oh, yeah! Dodge this! <laughs> me precious cannon! Oh. Ahoy! Isn't that the self-destruct button? Ah! Way to go, Kitaro! Giant enemy crab defeated! And look! Moonstones! Sweet! Two shards in one go! What lovely fireworks! Each a flower of spots growing in the garden of our hearts. Don't you think, Captain? Ah! But who has time for flowers in the sky? <laughs> when the flowers below be of such varicose beauty. Oh. Tis you that I wish to pluck tonight, oh. my amour. <laughs> and thus ends our tale of how the fetching moon witch and brave Captain Gaff found true love and lived happily ever after. The end. How dare you write an ending without me? 
This is my story. Curse you all. I'll teach you to make a fool of me. All of you. Especially you, Kutaro. I'll string you up if it's the last thing I do. It seems the Moon Bear King wasn't quite ready to live happily ever after. No, he still had lots of unhappiness to go round. With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were home.